All right, good morning. It has been a very long time since we've been in this truck. But we uh, we finished, we, we fixed the uh, the belt tensioner bolt that we broke off yesterday. And uh, I got on the load board and found us a load going to, uh, found a partial going to Indiana. We're gonna be picking up in Albany. It's gonna be a uh, single cab um, Peterbilt, but we have to remove the fairing and the uh, exhaust pipe. I know he said we'd never do this, but they said they don't want the fairing. We can leave the fairing there. So we don't have to like worry about the fairing getting damaged or anything. So we're just gonna unbolt it and push it to the ground and be like, there it is. Uh, let's see, that's paying like 211 a mile. It should only take up half the trailer. So after we get that loaded, I'm gonna uh, look for something else to put on. Dogs are freaking out. They haven't been in this truck for so freaking long. Ain't that right, guys? But you're okay. You're all right. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, well. I'm gonna let this bad boy air up. We're gonna get out of here. We gotta go get our trailer. See you guys in a bit. All right, so we've made it. The uh, the picture the broker sent me um, was a picture off of Richie Brothers or uh, Iron something, the other part of Richie Brothers. So I thought we were going to a Richie Brothers. Turns out we're at a Southern Southern Ag. I got a couple of them over here. We'll take go take a look at the one we got to get. Um, I wonder if I should just go ahead and they told me I could pull over here on this slab and load this thing up. And what I'll probably do, Babs, is we'll probably just back up here and then swing around and leave that way. I guess all these trucks are their trucks for sale. They got a Mac right here. It's got a def tank, so it's a a newer one than what we have there's another one and another one and another one another one seems like all they have is max they got a couple of like international and random trucks a couple of little peterbilts but i think the majority of their trucks is uh is mac so we got to take this fairing off we gotta take this smokestack off. And they said they don't want the fairing, so. Looks like we got a couple of bolts on this side. They said I could cut it off. And that's what the broker said. He's like, you can cut it off. It's like, man, that sounds like a lot of work. 
I cut it off. But it looks like we might have to because look, it's uh It's riveted on here. Those are rivets. Look at that. How does this mount it up here? Oh yeah, we might be cutting this thing off. Yep. Good thing I got my uh, brought some my cutoff saw and some blades. They probably just want parts off this thing. I don't think they want the truck itself. I don't know what motors in here. Well, let's get some tools, I guess. Maybe I should pull it over here by the truck. Let's do that. Let's pull it over by the truck so I don't have to keep walking back and forth. truck's dead. Of course it's dead. Of course it's dead. Alright, battery's dead. Both trucks to both sides of it's dead. Lead is going to go see if they have a jump box so I don't have to back the truck up or... I think it's too dead for that little jump box that I have. I don't, I don't think it would start off that thing. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and grab some tools and I guess I'll go ahead and start working on cutting that thing off. Thankfully, uh, thankfully we have that. That grinder with some cutoff blades. All right, surprise, surprise, the truck, we can't get the truck to start. Put the, the, the jump box on it. He's like, oh, just, just compare the fuses from this truck to that other truck. And if they're any different, just rob some fuses. Bro, that's not my job. My job is to load this truck and not do mechanical work. This thing is supposed to run and drive. He's like, oh, what happens is it rains and water gets in here and it fries these out. That's not my problem, man. I'm not, I'm not here to fix this truck so we can load it. I won't, I won't mess with this thing, Lita. We could try to hook it up to the alternator, like I said, and he was like, no, no, that won't be why it won't start. I'm like, right now your jump pack is trying to charge the batteries, not jump the battery. So people have told me if we go straight to the alternator that it'll go straight to the battery instead of trying to charge the battery or straight to the starter. away and be like ah check all the uh check all the fuses <laughs> oh what are you even talking about what do you say hit the green button yeah there is no
think they hired a record. I'm not loading this thing on the truck with no brakes. You know how dangerous that would be? He just said it drives, right? All right. We are going on 1.30 now. We got here at 10.30. Supposedly they were gonna send somebody over here to fix these brakes. Uh, nobody's coming back over. I called the owner. He said unloading it wouldn't be a problem if we could get it on the trailer. He's got a big tractor that he said he could drive up the trailer, chain the truck to this tractor to, to stop the truck from rolling back. Um, I don't know. It's so sketchy. It's so late in the day. That fairing still has to come off. I just don't know what to do. I mean, there's literally no brakes in this thing. Like, there's linkage or something missing from this brake pedal. I mean, it's just on the floor. He said he didn't realize it was in such bad shape. It was just one of those things he said he uh, bid on it on uh, Richie Brothers. And um, he's like, oops, I won. So I think he bid on it just thinking that he would be outbid. And then he ended up being the high bidder. And then I think there was, uh, I think there was some regrets. I don't know. What you want to do, baby? Cut this fairing off? Is it the side one? There were still some in there.
245 now. 245. We had to let the air out of the tires. There's uh, some lights up there that made it too tall. So it's loaded up, chained down. I got to shut this truck off still. I think what I'll do is I'll. I don't know what I'll do. I think I talked about put back in in there and then pulling up and out of there. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. I had to turn this, this truck off though. Plate is bungeeing up some chains. We are out of here. Man, I was thinking the last load that we took was the load when uh, mom had her heart attack. And that was, uh, you guys would you guys would freak out if you knew what today was. That was, um, was that in September? And this is November? Uh, November 9th or 10th? I don't know, it's a Tuesday. 9th or 10th, something like that. Wild, wild. I gotta tell you guys about the insurance company too, how they're jerking us around. Uh, let me shut this truck off though. All right, so we are at the uh, rest area in Adairsville, Georgia. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, our, uh, the ABS sensors didn't fix it. So it's probably something in the harness. Will you, do you wanna take her for a second? Um, we didn't think there was any parking down there in the truck area. So we came up here to the car area. Yeah, so we're still getting um, we're still getting a fault for the uh, sensors and we're still getting an ABS light fault, which isn't good because I'm pretty sure that's an out of service. But I mean, uh, the trailer don't have ABS lights. So they'd have to physically climb up in the truck to uh, know that there's an ABS light out. See if I got any lights on in the back here. Uh, no luck on finding anything on another load yet. So I just figured we would come here and uh, maybe sit here and wait to maybe find a load. Uh, they ended up giving us 200 more dollars. So we got 200 more dollars on this. So that ends up making it like um, 250 a mile, I think, for this truck. So honestly, if we don't find anything, it's not the end of the world. But if we don't find anything, I need to like get up there and get this dropped and get moving, or I need to wait on another partial. So I just don't know what we're gonna do yet. I guess we'll just take a look at the board in the morning. It'll probably have us turn around and go back to Atlanta to pick up something. I mean, I hope not. I don't want to have to deal with Atlanta again because that was a nightmare. But um, hopefully we can find something up along the way. 
Yeah, that ABS thing is, it's saying DA right wheel speed sensor, I think is what it's saying. DA, I'll show you guys when I get back in the truck. Let me walk these dogs. Oh, it's nice and chilly out here. Winter is coming, or it's here, I don't know, maybe. I know I've been seeing some videos of the north getting pounded by some snow, so that's pretty exciting. Um, what is kind of crazy is we're probably only gonna be out for like another two weeks, and we're gonna have to go home for uh, Thanksgiving. So, man, I love Thanksgiving. I cannot wait to fry some turkeys and just eat some deviled eggs. Thanksgiving is by far my favorite holiday. I absolutely love Thanksgiving. What about you, woman? You like Thanksgiving? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, pretty empty up here. I hope they don't say anything to us. But there was a bunch of people parked all the way out to the interstate and I'm like, man, I'm not doing that. So we parked here. Come on, this way. All right, good morning. It is, uh, it's 9.30. Oh, Lita and, up, and I were up all night. Nilla was throwing up all over the place. There was dog puke everywhere. Man, if it wouldn't have been for Lita, man, I, I can't handle that stuff. I can't, I can't deal with it. She threw up all in my bed. And then we went to get her out, and then she threw up all over the floor. Uh, so we were up all night with a sick doggie. She seems to be doing better this morning. You okay, fat butts? Uh, well, I poked around on the board a little bit this morning. I don't see anything, man. I don't... There's, there's one. There's no raid on it, but their credit doesn't pass. So I don't know if I'll call them and see if they'll COD. Oh, this is this is a COD load, by the way. So man, last night was rough. All right, let me walk these dogs, see if we can find something. Get out of here. I don't know how much you talked about this, but basically, I had to use the uh, parking brake on this thing in order to stop it. So I'd have to, uh, <laughs> oh, I would, I'd pull it up a little bit and I feel like I'd get, I'd be going a little too fast. So I'd pull the parking brake real fast. And there's a couple of second delay with that. It's not like instant. So it took a few times, uh, pulling this thing up and I was talking to the owner and he was like, I was going to drive down there and, or I was going to fly down there and drive it home. I'm like, man, this thing doesn't have any brakes. He's like, they didn't tell me that. Man, that's that's real unfortunate because there's nothing with this thing. So it doesn't look like we're gonna get another load, so we might just go ahead and drive this through. What sucks is uh, what we're gonna do is he's got a tractor. We're gonna we're gonna drive the tractor up the trailer and chain his tractor to the back of the semi truck, and then use the tractor to slow the truck down. It's supposed to be a pretty big tractor. Um, but the issue is we need a ramp to get this thing down off the top deck now. I, I just wish I wouldn't have put this thing on the top deck no, Not now knowing that, man, there ain't any loads, man. And I don't know what's going on, but 250 miles from here to 250 miles on the destination and there ain't there ain't shit so I don't know what we're gonna do about that um, I don't know if I need to slowly back it down and use the parking brake it's so it's so sketchy or maybe his tractor can go up one ramp and we can back this thing down off the top and then we can disconnect the tractor and then add the other set of ramps and then he can drive up both sets of ramps and we can pull it all the way down I don't know. He says he's got a ditch that we can back up to, too. But, I, I, you know, I don't know. All right, you girls ready? Yeah, it's, it's sketchy, man. I just... 
I didn't want to walk away from it because uh, we'd already had so much time in it. And we got to get out and we got to start making money so that we have enough to buy a turkey when we come home. Huh, woman? Oh, I don't know if I've told you guys, Mason bought a house, so he's going to be closing on his house this week. That'll be cool for him. Mom's, uh, mom's hip is, uh, they're thinking she's going to be down for another six weeks. So, Nate's been staying with her. Get over here, fat butts. Why aren't you listening? Uh, yeah, so he's going to be with her for another six weeks. So, I don't know. Good thing he uh, doesn't have a job. He had a job, and he was working with this um, handyman. And, uh, I don't know. Nate must have done something, because the guy just stopped calling him. I don't know what the deal is. Or the guy didn't have as much work as he, he told Nate he did. I don't know. Who knows? All right, let's get out of here, girls. exciting day for me here <laughs> we don't get to come up 75 this way very often but uh, when I realized it I was like oh my god we get to go by the pizza place <laughs> what's the place called Brooklyn Brothers Brooklyn Brothers in Corbin Kentucky off of 75 it's definitely the best pizza 
we've ever had on the road. Um, the only thing I could compare it to really would be, um, I've talked about this before, the pizza place that me and you went and ate at when we first met. It's, it's, it's on with that. And I think I compared it to, um, what's that other pizza place? Godfather's. Godfather's? Don't sleep on Godfather's, but oh my God, I can't believe this. Look at that. Same thing we got last time? Yeah, I think so. Look, it barely fits in the box. They had to fold it up on this edge over here. Yeah. Oh my God. I think they might have forgot the peppers. So that oh. kind of sucks. But I uh, honestly don't care. <laughs> hmm. I'm pretty hungry. Oh, it's so good. Corbin, Kentucky, off of the 75. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. My mouth is watering. Mm. I needed this. This was worth getting the taking this truck up here. <laughs> This makes it worth it. What do you think? Yeah, it's still pretty good. Oh. All right, we've got um, five and a half hours left to get there. Six hours and 20 minutes on the clock. Couldn't find anything else to run with this truck. Can't find anything coming out of this place, so. Mmm. What's the name of the pizza though if they come here? Is this the Brooklyn Brooklyn pizza? Mm -hmm. It's the Brooklyn pizza. Come to Corbin, Kentucky and try this pizza. They were busy. They were busy? Absolutely amazing. If you're a truck driver, you can just pull over on this massive shoulder. I mean this shoulder right here is massive. You gotta walk around for it though. Mm hmm. Well, if you're daring, there's a hole in the fence over there. But it's super steep. So, yeah. Lita actually walked up the hill, but she's like, I can't take the pizza down this hill. <laughs> so, me and the dogs walked around and met her. It didn't take that long. No. She called ahead too. Called ahead and. Had it pre-made, so it'd be ready when we get here. Yeah, it was waiting on us. Do they have like a bar in there or what? What's it? I've never been inside. Um, no, I don't think they have like a like a bar you sit at. So if you were like to stop here at night to sleep here for the night, you couldn't like walk up there and have a couple drinks or anything. I mean, you, you'll probably get beer and stuff there, but like you can't sit at a bar. You know what I mean? Mm. Maybe they do have a bar. It just looks like they have they they have a bar. Yeah, they no. might, but like I'm only at the front of the restaurant. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna eat this and hit the road. See you guys tonight. <laughs>